Hi friends, today I am discussing a new topic in plant physiology that is respiration. Respiration, we know that it is a catabolic process. Catabolic process are energy releasing process while the opposite of catabolic process are anabolic. Anabolic is energy making process or uh, synthesizing process and anabolic process once again anabolic process is energy releasing process. In photosynthesis or the photosynthesis is a uh, anabolic process and uh, respiration is a catabolic process. In this uh, we can start the light energy is converted into chemical energy and is stored in carbohydrate molecules such as glucose and starch at the time of photosynthesis. In organisms like uh, organisms make use of energy from their activities by oxidizing this energy uh, food uh, molecules into simple low energy molecules. The reaction involved in the process of oxidation are known as respiration because oxygen is involved in the breakdown of heavy molecules or energy rich molecules. The compounds that are oxidized, in, oxidized during the process of respiration are called respiratory substrates. In most cases respiratory substrates are synthesized by photosynthetic reaction. Energy released during oxidation of energy rich compounds for activities of cells through an intermediate compound called adenosine triphosphate or ATP. It is the energy currency of the living world or the biosphere. The reaction that occurs is in respiration of glucose is summed up like this C6H12O6 and some enzymes are involved in the reaction and finally 6 CO2 means 6 carbon dioxide plus 6 H2O plus energy. In this energy molecule or in this breakdown process or in this catabolic process 686 calorie or uh, uh, kilo, 686 kilocalorie or 2870 kilojoule of energy is liberated per molecule of glu uh, glucose. Means one molecule yield 686 kilocalorie or 2870 kilojoule of energy. One kilocalorie is equal to 1000 calories. That means uh, one molecule of gl uh, glucose on complex oxidation yields 686 kilocalories of energy that means 6,86,000 calories. Main facts associated with the respiration. Fun, uh, first one, consumption of atmospheric oxygen. It is an oxidative process. Then oxidation and decomposition of a portion of the stored food resulting in a loss of dry weight as seen in the seeds germinating in dark. Liberation of carbon dioxide and a small quantity of water that means the volume of carbon dioxide liberated is equal to the volume of oxygen consumed. Release of energy by breakdown of organic foods such, uh, such as carbohydrates even maybe glucose or anything else. Now we go to a respiratory substrate. We know that substrate or the things which the respiration happens. This already we told that respiration happens in a substrate. This respiratory substrates are those organic substances which are oxidated, oxidized during uh, respiration. High energy compounds. They may be carbohydrates fats and products. These are the compounds, they are high energy compounds which are utilized or used uh, in the respiration or the respiratory, they are called the respiratory substrates. Carbohydrates such as glucose, fructose or uh, hexose sugars, sucrose disaccharides or starch, inulin, hemicellulose, they are called polysaccharides. These are the respiratory substrates. In some cases or in rare circumstances when carbohydrate reserves are exhausted, fats and proteins also serve as respiratory substrates. There are two types of respirations. Uh, uh, respiration can be classified into two types. They are aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. In this topic, we discuss only aerobic process or aerobic type of uh, respiration. Okay. In aerobic respiration, it leads to the complete oxidation of stored food. That means organic substances in the presence of oxygen and a release of carbon dioxide, water and large amount of energy present in respiratory substrates. Here the complete oxidation happens and the byproducts are carbon dioxide and water. Here complete energy is released generally found in higher organisms. The overall equation, sum up or, uh, overall equation is like this, 6,6H12O6 means glucose. Then it is oxidized in the presence of uh, 6O2, some enzyme oxidations. 
happens 6 carbon dioxide CO2 6 H2O plus energy that means 2870 kilocalorie of energy is released during aerobic respiration. Next anaerobic respiration. Respiration occurs in uh, complete absence of oxygen. Here the complete absence of oxygen happens. In the absence of oxygen many tissues of hair plants, seeds in storage, fleshy fruits uh, and succulent plants such as cacti, they are temporarily took anaerobic respiration. Generally occurs in lower organisms like a bacteria and fungi and result in incomplete oxidation. Here it is incomplete oxidation of stored food and formation of carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol uh, in place of uh, water. Here it is uh, ethyl alcohol in anaerobic expression, water in aerobic expression. That is the reference. And various organic compounds such as malic acid, citric acid, oxalic acid, tartaric acid, etc. Here the energy overall uh, uh, equation is here C6H2O6. But the formation of ethyl alcohol happens to C2H5 or two molecule of ethyl alcohol is formed and two molecule of carbon dioxide plus energy, energy is very little 247 kilo uh, joule or 28 kilo calorie energy is only liberated during anaerobic respiration. Now we go to the mechanism of respiration. In, uh, in this topic or mechanism we have two uh, phases in respiration. First one glycolysis and second one Krebs cycle. What is the difference? You can do uh, look glycolysis uh, during respiration carbohydrates are converted into pyruvic acid uh, through a series of enzymatic reaction known as glycolysis which takes place in cytosol in cell in itself or cytoplasm itself. In, uh, in pyruvic acid or the this uh, uh, second reaction pyruvic acid enters into mitochondria where, where several enzymes catalyze the reaction and pyruvic acid finally converts into carbon dioxide and water known as Krebs cycle after the uh, name of its discoverer uh, Sir Hans Adolf Krebs. He got Nobel Prize in 1953 or it is otherwise called tricarboxylic acid cycle or TCA or citric acid cycle. These are the names of uh, this Krebs cycle. Now we go to the uh, details of glycolysis. Sequential series of reaction present in a wide variety of tissues that uh, starts with the hexose sugar, usually a glucose, and ends with the pyruvic acid. The term has originated from Greek words glycos means sugar and lysis means splitting. The scheme of glycolysis was discovered by three German scientists Gustav Emden, Otto Mayhoff, and Jeparnas and therefore uh, referred as EMP pathway, EMP pathway after the abbreviation of their last names. And the glycolysis is the first stage in the breakdown of glucose and is common to all type of organisms. It is common to both aerobic and anaerobic modes of respiration. It occurs in cytoplasm of cells during this process glucose undergoes partial oxidation to form two molecules of pyruvic acid, two molecules of pyruvic acid. In plants glucose is derived from sucrose which is the end product of photosynthetic reaction or carbon reaction. It is also known as dark reaction or from storage carbohydrates. Sucrose is converted into glucose and fructose by the enzyme invertase and these two monosaccharides means glucose and fructose enter into glycolysis or EMB pathway and steps uh, of glycolytic pathway. First phosphorylation of sugar, the first phosphorylation, two, three phosphorylations are there. This is the first phosphorylation. Glucose and fructose are phosphorylated to give rise to glucose 6-phosphate and fructose 6-phosphate. The fructose 6-phosphate is a chief material or chief product for the entire next process, entire process. This phosphorylated form of glucose then uh, convert isomerized to produce fructose uh, 6 phosphate. This is the reaction happens here. And second phosphorylation or phosphorylation of fructose 6 phosphate. This is second phosphorylation. Fructose 6 phosphate is phosphorylated and uh, fructose. Uh, then uh, the another process and explain how pyruvate is broken down to carbon dioxide and